All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Sean here with Emerald Coast Digitizing. We have got a eight millimeter Hi8 tape here, and it has some weird inconsistencies, and all of our tapes are like this. Well, um, most of them are, but these three here, one, two, three, are, looks like the camera was dropped or something, and we're running into some artifacting and I don't like it, but I have a camera here that I have put holes in uh, right where the guides are. And you can kind of see in there, it's kind of dark, but the tape's playing and I can see the guides where I can adjust them to try to mimic what their camera was doing when it was recorded. So we will turn the audio on and I'll just, just doing adjustments here with uh, my screwdriver. Okay. And I'm just doing adjustments down here while watching it. And hopefully we'll see, oh, that was easy. Well, there it is, hold on. Just make adjustments until that lines up right. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Actually, looks really good. All right, yeah, that was pretty easy. Um, so basically, if you take a soldering iron in one of these cameras and you measure it out right, you can just poke a hole in the camera and then you can adjust those guides with a screwdriver and uh, kind of fix those kind of inconsistencies. This is just a short video, guys. Um, I just wanted to show, you know, I'm not just putting tapes into machines and pressing play and walking away. I'm looking for inconsistencies, looking for problems with audio, video, um, making sure that the whole tape is copied and nothing's missed. There's a lot that goes into this. I have a lot of, of uh, setups here so I can do things fairly quickly as long as everything's working well. But right now, as you can see, pretty much everything else is off because I'm finished with that job, but I still have to deal with these two tapes here. So once I get those set up and going, and I've only got one camera, one camera that's set up to handle uh, the misaligned uh, tape syndrome there. So yeah, things are going good at the store, getting close to Christmas, kind of knocking out all the jobs on the shelf. Only got one job on the shelf after this. And I have a couple here that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna redo this one um, just because I wasn't incredibly happy with how that one did. So uh, there's a couple tapes in there I need to redo on that one. And this one here, but those are after Christmas deadlines. So they're just kind of waiting. But these are the last of my Christmas deadlines. So looking forward to doing some renovations around the store so far. I put some tint on the windows so you can't really see in anymore. I'm going to put a wall right here and right here. And then I'll move, uh, get rid of this and I'll put another table. And what's gonna happen is there'll be an opening over here. You can walk through and then you're gonna walk, this wall will come up to right here. Come up to right here. So when you come in, you'll walk, walk through here, turn, and then you'll be walking kind of into my living room area and then you'll turn around the corner and you'll see all the uh, players and everything. I'm going to move everything out of this configuration and put it all flat against that wall. And then I'm going to turn one and put one shelf right here. So we'll basically have like up to here. This will all be behind. So this will become kind of a storage closet. And come out to basically where this table is. This will become storage on this side and then access to my bathroom. And then I'll just have a nice clean looking setup and I can sit over where my uh, couch and everything will be right in here. So I can, if I need to take a break, I can sit and still see everything going on. And I think it'll be a lot cleaner and a better use of space to put everything up against that wall and to get a bigger table this table is not big enough for what i'm using it for all my rewinders i've been bringing them out and leaving them on this table so i'd like something that's twice the size of this and maybe put that turn it 
this way and straighten that up and then I'll have that as kind of my backdrop as I'm working here or sitting over there. I'm probably going to move the film up against this wall and maybe the storage for the orders up against this wall and maybe a table I can sit and eat that's not a work table. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Get everything set up nice and neat. And that way when you walk into the store, you don't just see this, you kind of just see a wall here. And this wall might turn into a shelf that's just covered in VHS tapes. 